So I recently made a poll on my communities tab on my channel page, really asking about every single person's employment status. So if you have already voted for that, huge, huge thanks because it is really, really greatly appreciated more than every single person knows. But it's that from looking at it, it seems like apparently there are still a lot of people out there that are still unemployed. At the same time, it also seems like there's a lot of people that maybe are employed, but are maybe not fully completely satisfied at their jobs. So if you haven't voted for on that survey, I definitely highly recommend. Huge thanks if you guys have, but definitely feel free to maybe vote on that. Maybe you don't have to do it now, but maybe by the very, very end of this video, because it helps me to pretty much gauge where every single person is at. But the big idea is that from looking at that, in today's update, I really wanna maybe just talk about something that's a little bit more cheerful and positive during a time of a lot of, you know, when people are still, a lot of people are still going through a lot of difficulties which is really about surviving unemployment and about how to basically try to maybe stay positive when it can be really, really difficult. Obviously, every single person is in a very, very different circumstance, so this is a lot more difficult to do than to simply say, but these are some ideas that I think maybe, you know, we can try to see some silver linings and positivity in unemployment based off of everything that's currently going on. So as always, we are gonna get started, but because we are talking about something maybe more cheerful and positive in today's update maybe remember to smash like button if you guys hopefully enjoy videos like this uh feel free to subscribe and you know hit the bell if you guys are brand new here huge welcome huge thanks if you guys are back and as always feel free to comment any questions personal thoughts maybe by the end of this video we do have maybe a bonus silver lining thing that we really want to share at the very very end so definitely watch through for that so with that being said let's get this video started So to start, I think it's really, really maybe important to share a couple of points about it if you are unemployed, is the really about the fact that there are a lot of people that maybe are employed, and you might even be watching this right now, but are not always fully satisfied at the job that they have. So by being unemployed, there are actually still a lot of silver linings to it. Obviously, one of the goals of this channel is really to be able to help people to try to find employment, but even more specifically, a quality level of unemployment, uh, of a quality level of employment because again you know we do want to find a good job you know not just about any job because these days it can be very difficult to live especially with the rising cost a lot of the stuff related to the recession the inflation things that we've pretty much covered on top of our channel but the idea is that obviously every single person has a really, really different circumstance, which is why I think it's really, really important to understand this. There are some people that maybe have kids. There are some people that maybe have a lot of debt. I thankfully do not have kids. I do have a little bit of credit card debt, not, nothing too crazy, but you know, there's people that have thousands of dollars in debt. You know, there are obviously most of us probably have bills. I definitely do have a lot of bills. And then there's also a lot of more circumstantial stuff. For example, some people, might have a particular health situation that makes it very difficult to find employment. I actually had a health situation way back when I was unemployed that made it so that it was difficult for me to find work. Thankfully, right now, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm able to go out there, work out, lift things, do lots of things. But the idea is, is that every single person has a very, very different circumstance. But I'm hoping that maybe these ideas will try to cater to as many people as we possibly can. Which maybe starts with the first silver lining I think that's really really cool about being unemployed is really about the amount of freedom that you have. It's really about the fact that because there are a lot of people that might be employed and this is especially true in the corporate world but because of the fact that they're now employed you know they've actually officially lost their freedom. You know, they're always going to be under the mercy of a boss now. They don't have the freedom to be able to kind of live out and really enjoy. Um, and by specifically enjoy, I mean to just simply live their life. So I don't mean to take extravagant vacations, but there is a little bit of a pleasure when you're able to kind of just wake up every day and do your own thing. This is one of the biggest gifts that you really get when you are unemployed. And it's like the saying how they say, there's a really cliche, but it is a very true statement about how with great power comes 
great responsibility. And one of the ways of one of one of the examples of power is freedom. The power and freedom to be able to wake up every day, to choose what you do, how you spend your time. And I think that's one of the greatest gifts, but you just have to, of course, again, use it responsibly of being unemployed. The second thing I think might be a really, really great silver lining to being unemployed is really about time. And it's really about the fact that you might have lost, sadly, you know, in a financial sense, you know, it's it's difficult that we've lost a source of income when you're unemployed. But one of the gifts is, is that you also gain a lot of time. And that's one of the things that even a lot of very wealthy people don't always have. Um, there's a lot of people that maybe, you know, have a lot of money. And by a lot of money, we're talking about the typical middle class American, middle class tax paying American that maybe has an above salary job, but they're always working. You know, going back is that they don't have the freedom to be able to do their own thing and they certainly don't have the time because they're inside of the office for 80 hours a week. They're always grinding, you know, obviously, you know, part of this video is really talking about surviving and getting through in terms of mental health. And when you're working for 80 hours a week, that is not necessarily going to translate, even if you are making more money, to necessarily better mental health as well if you don't enjoy your work, if you feel like you're always forced to be somewhere, you know, you're always under the mercy of someone and by being unemployed one of the greatest gifts is, is that we might have lost some financial situ you know opportunity sadly but one of the greatest gifts is, is that we have time and they always say is that time is one of the most valuable resource because no amount of money can buy it because as you go forward in time you can always make more money but as you go forward in time, you can't get the past back. And that's one of the biggest gifts that in the present moment that we are at least able to hopefully be able to enjoy if we are unemployed, which is again, a situation that a lot of people here share right now or you know have related to at some point in life. Now, the next silver lining, and it's not necessarily a silver lining, but it's more of something to maybe still be really, really grateful for that obviously, this one I will admit depends on the person, but for for most, or certainly hopefully as many people that are watching this, to still be grateful for is really about people. And this is really, really important because there are, going back to that example about like working long hours, is that there are a lot of people that might be employed but are spending so much time at their jobs that they start to neglect social life. They start to neglect family. They start to neglect a lot of their people. And so if you are someone that maybe you happen to be unemployed, but maybe you also know a lot of friends that are unemployed. Maybe you have a community of other people unemployed. This is a community. Huge thanks and love for being here of people that are unemployed. And so by having people around you, that's something that I think is still really, really cool to be grateful for, especially because a lot of the things that you do in life is going to be very, very dependent on the network and the people that you surround yourself with. We did make a video, in fact, if anything, we've actually made a playlist that talks about surviving unemployment. So there's a video that I made, which is really about the number one advice to finding work. And the number one, you know, as a sneak peek advice is about how important network is. So I highly definitely recommend checking that video. I'll put a playlist of videos at the very, very end screen. You guys can check that out at the very, very end. But if you are someone that hopefully still has a really healthy circle and a group of people to relate to, that is something to be really, really grateful for that not every single person, even some people that are employed, has and is able to enjoy. So huge love there. Now, the next silver lining is also going to be something that is a little bit more dependent on the person, but I think most people this hopefully really um, can hopefully relate to, and it's something to really be grateful for, which is really about having health. And this is one of the biggest things is, is that because while it might be very, very difficult to have, um, you know, to get through mental health wise when you're, you know, unemployed because of everything that's happening, hopefully for as many of us, again, not everyone, but as many of us that are watching this as we can, can at least be able to get through in terms of physical health. And that's one of the biggest things is, is that because mental health is really, really difficult but I think that depending on the specific circumstance, there are ways to kind of psychologically try, try, the keyword is try, depending on your circumstance, to be positive. But physical health is something that no one can lie to. There is no way to lie to yourself about physical health because when you feel pain, when you feel, you know, down and defeated, 
that's kind of what the situation is. So if you are able to maybe have some relative level of physical health, and I relate to this because I at some point didn't have the best physical health. I do now, but if you are someone that has it, that's something to really be able to feel grateful for that we at least still have. Now, the next thing before we finally move on to the bonus, which I guess is the semi-final thing to share, about something to maybe feel grateful for, and one of the biggest silver linings, is going to be related to opportunity cost. Because I always say is, is that as difficult as it is sometimes to lose a certain something, so in this case, we're talking about losing work, and this goes for a lot of things also, you know, losing a relationship, you know, losing a job opportunity. One of the biggest silver linings and gifts is that by cleansing yourself of that particular something, it also creates room to maybe welcome something else new that might be even potentially better. You know, I think about it a little bit like work. One of the reasons why I do what I do today is because I was actually fired from another job. I've been unemployed for uncontrollable circumstances. I've been fired for kind of more about more of an interesting situation, kind of uncontrollable, but that, that's a story for another day. Um, but the big idea really is that when you're unemployed, even though you might be out of work, one of the greatest gifts is, is that now that you do have the time and the freedom, it also gives you the potential opportunity cost to now find work and maybe welcome a job, a new job that might be even better to come in. It is very similar to the story about when, you know, let's say someone breaks up with a relationship. It it can be really difficult, but maybe this could be a chance to welcome an even better partner into the family or into the, you know, into the community or into your life. And that's one of the biggest gifts and silver linings, I think, can really come from it. There have been cases where I sadly had to lose work, but really, really gratefully ended up finding something that was maybe even better. And I think that there's a lot of people that have had that experience as well. And I think that's something that's really, really important to share. And I think the final last thing, so the true actual, technically that was the last thing, but the bonus to maybe share about something that I think is really, really maybe important and, you know, a reason to feel maybe grateful for that can come from being unemployed is going to be a lot, everything related to growth, everything related to lessons. Because I think is that when you are out of work, there are a lot of things that you have to learn. You have to learn how to survive. You have to learn to be resourceful. You have to learn to save money. There's a couple videos I made about saving money. Definitely check it at the very end screen. Um, you have to you know, learn how to get through. You need to also, even on a self level, you learn a lot about your personal self, about the nature of corporate America, what you like, what you don't like, what you can maybe do differently. A lot of this stuff, I think, these are things that money cannot buy and that you really have to learn from experience. And I think the growth and the lessons that can come from it so that wherever you go next there's hopefully some level of value that you can provide that is something i think should be really really important to cherish and really treasure but of course, there are so many things that we can possibly talk about, so maybe feel free to comment and share any particular ideas you might have about your experience with being unemployed or if you used to be unemployed, but something you might have learned from it. But with that being said, if you guys made it to the end, that's pretty much what I really wanted to cover. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, remember to smash the like button if you guys hopefully enjoyed that. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for similar videos. Feel free to comment any questions, thoughts, or maybe suggestions about any other video topics you might like to hear. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, stay safe, stay well, and hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.